Hey everybody, Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today I'm going to go over a tough weed and show you what I'm going to use to control this tough weed and then we'll check back on it and see how well it's, it's being controlled. Now I'm in a, a zoysia lawn today. I'm going to show you the lawn. I'm going to show you the weed. The weed is is ground ivy or otherwise known as creeping charlie it can be a, a tough one grows usually in more shaded areas when i see it I, it's not something i see a lot to be honest with you but this particular yard has a lot of it and we're going to use a product called change ups product that i use quite often honestly for a lot of tough weeds and what i like about change up you can use it on a variety of grass types here in the south, we use it on Bermuda Zoysia, Centipede, and St. Augustine, a slightly lower rate on St. Augustine. But uh, this Zoysia yard, we're gonna be spraying with Change Up. If you, if you buy Change Up, you know, you gotta buy it in a two and a half gallon jug. So if you're a homeowner, sometimes people don't like buying that quantity of it because it, it can be uh, expensive. The actual cost per application is not that expensive because you know we're just mixing one ounce of change up in a gallon of water with a little bit of surfactant and spraying it. So it's it's really that you know a two and a half gallon jug would last a homeowner years if not decades you know depending on how much you were using if you're just using the spot treat but it's a it's a good product and we'll see how well it works on ground ivy. So let me show you the ground ivy aka creeping charlie and then we'll spray it and see how it works. <clears throat> okay, so if you look at this yard, they filled in some holes with some topsoil. And Zoysia yard, we're gonna fertilize it soon and see if we can get this grass filling in. Lots of poa annua here that's starting to die off because of the heat. We're in late April and have creeped into the 80s on the temperature uh, mark. But then you come over here where it's more shaded and this is the Creeping Charlie or Ground Ivy, depending on who you ask, how you want to call it, but there's a lot of it. And as a bonus for this video, we're going to also see how well Change Up can control this one. It's got the heart-shaped leaf, and that's wild violet. Sometimes you'll see it with a purple flower. I'm not sure I see any right now with purple flowers on it. But this is a, let me step back a little bit and show you. I mean, this is a, is a large section of ground ivy. So we're going to be able to tell you know really well how how effective change up controls the ground ivy, and it goes all the way through here and this this is a shady area okay here we go we got some uh wild violet here that's got the purple flower on it if you wanted to just to, to see that so lots of ground ivy lots of wild violet two tough weeds to control change up's also really good on this weed right here it's uh, oxalis or yellow wood sorrel. You can see the little yellow flowers. So we'll be trying it out on that as well. Now, to me, it's a little bit unusual that you get, you know, you got some ground ivy and stuff out here in, in the sunlight. It's along the edge of this sidewalk. This lawn has not been under a weed control program. So the idea is hopefully we get this to clear this out, fertilize it, get the zoysia to start filling in, and this won't be a problem anymore. One more tough weed that the change up is also very good on is that one. That's field matter. Matter with two D's instead of two T's. If you want to Google an image of it, you see the little purple flower. That can sometimes get really thick in people's yards. And uh, change up's great on it too. So here's actually a better picture of the field matter if you want to check that out. So, all right, I've already got my change up mixed up in the sprayer. One ounce in a gallon of water. Now that's if you spray, you know, at a somewhat normal rate you know if you're a homeowner and you like to really spray it heavy at least the way i was trained or, or maybe a professional then you might go one ounce in a gallon and a half of water some people like to spray more heavier they think if spraying a little bit's good and spraying a lot must be great and that's not always true usually spraying a little bit will kill the weed and spraying a lot will kill the weeds and damage the grass or possibly even kill the grass so we're not going to try to drown the weeds we're just spraying at a normal rate change up is typically not a product that i'm going to put in a tank sprayer and blanket on the whole yard uh, it can be expensive you do that it's something i typically use for spot treating now sometimes i will put it on a ride-on spreader sprayer and as i'm fertilizing with that spreader sprayer if i see a weed i can spray it or maybe if you've got a yard that just gets a lot of weeds in it a lot of these tough weeds i'm showing you that i know other herbicides won't kill then i might blanket that yard 
would change up in that situation but probably not something i'm gonna just go through there and start spraying all the yards would change up uh, it would get expensive to do that I'll finish spraying the weeds in the video. You saw I was using a, that little two gallon spray. I'll put a link to that in the description. It's like 20 something bucks on Amazon if you want to pick one of those up. Like I said, Change Up's one of those products I use, kind of a go-to product when I have some tough weeds uh, that are more difficult to control than your just ordinary broadleaf weeds that you see in lawns like dandelions and things like that. So let's check back soon and see the results. I want to give you an update on the, the creeping Charlie or the ground ivy as some of you might call it move over here to get out of the shadows and i'm coming back it's been about three weeks since i did the application and to be honest with you i was expecting to come back and see it all withered up and dead uh, and a lot of it has has died and is withered but i'll tell you that that weed is is tough to kill after seeing what it still looks like after applying change up so let's take an up close look and see what it looks like <clears throat> You can see where some of it has still got some green life to it. You know, it probably wasn't a perfectly even application. Well, look at it, I just see all different levels of, of damage to the ground ivy or the creeping Charlie. Like, friends, you look at this. You know, it's like it's completely burnt into that plant off. But it's probably, it's just a tough plant to kill. So. I see a lot of damage done to the plant. And I would expect that it will, they will continue to deteriorate over the next week or so. But I think it probably is going to take a second application to finish off this ground ivy. Like I said, it, it really is a tough weed to control. And you compare that with some that's untreated, and you can see it just, you know perfectly green and healthy compared to this and you can even see where I mean that that's a ground ivy leaf so I mean some of these bare spots is where it just really smoked it and you pulling up vines like this where it's just dead so like I said uh, I, I think a second application would all but finish it off you got I mean, you got a lot of results with the first application. But the way this plant's growing, I mean, it's just, it's a vine and it keeps re-rooting. So I, I think it's a, it's a tough one. I'll say this too for homeowners. Sometimes when I'm talking about a particular weed and, and people can get overwhelmed with different weed control products because, you know, to be honest, if you came and looked at all the different products I have, I may have 20, different weed control products at, at one given time and those are for a specific weed on a specific grass type and a certain time of year i mean there's you know some that you use more often than others but it can be intimidating to think well how in the world why would i ever buy all that stuff if you were just a homeowner so my recommendation is you get a, a product that you can use on a lot of different situations it may not be the perfect product for every weed but it would be something that you can use to control most of the weeds in your lawn 
and, and to do a pretty good job on a lot of things as opposed to being the one premier product for one specific weed that may come up. Just thinking, practically speaking, for a homeowner, that would make more sense. So, you know, products I use a lot, I talk about on here, I use Blindside, I use ChangeUp, I use Celsius, um, you know, it's post-emergent things I'm walking around spot treating weeds with, and then some sort of sedge product. I'm using Certainty a lot now, or Sedge Hammer, something like that. So, there's a lot of products out there that you can use, but if you'll just figure out something that, that will get most weeds, Weeds, that'll help you get going. I'm not going to continue the video on the Creeping Charlie. I'm planning to spray it again to hopefully finish off most of it and let the grass continue to fill back in where it leaves bare spots over the course of the summer. But like I said, tough weed to control. Fortunately, one, I don't see that much in my area. It does like shady areas and their yard had a lot of it. I would expect uh, to see less and less over time as I continue working on this particular lawn. Your products that you like to use on Creeping Charlie, have you had any success controlling your lawn? Let me engage with you in comments. My name is Jason Creel. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.